Hello everyone, my name is Nilzor and welcome to my vault. Today on Fallout New Vegas 101, we are going to visit the Great Cairns at Red Rock Canyon. Red Rock Canyon is the home base for the Great Cairns in the Mojave. They are one of the oldest tribes in the wasteland and originated in California from where they fled after their conflict with the NCR. They settled in the Mojave where they profusely attacked and pillaged several settlements. They were very much inspired by the culture of Genghis Khan's Mongol horde. When Mr. House woke up, they retreated from New Vegas to Bitter Springs. During the colonization of the Mojave by the NCR, the Grain Khans harassed them in hopes that Mr. House will do the same. But when the New Vegas Treaty was signed, the Republic had now the time and resources to take care of the Great Khans. It is then that the Bitter Springs massacre occurred. This place was thought by the NCR to be used as a military stronghold, but it was in fact a simple town for the Great Khans civilians. Lots of children, women and elderly died there during the attack. The tribe then retreated to the safety of Rockford Canyon and settled there. Recently, an alliance with Caesar's Legion against the SCR was made, fueled by the need for revenge. The town is composed of the Longhouse, where the Great Khan's leadership stays, the Drug Lab, some tents, and an underground armory just outside the canyon where a vendor will sell you items once you are accepted by the tribe. Inside the town you will come across Papa Ken, leader of the tribe, he was already leading them when they first moved out of California. Since the Bitter Springs massacre, his need for vengeance has brought him to forge an alliance with Caesar's Legion. Regis, Papa Ken's right hand man and law enforcer of the tribe. Jake, drug maker, he learned basic chemistry with the followers of the apocalypse. Diane, she deals with the business side of the drug. Jerry, a young man that is not happy with being a great count and dreams of other horizons. Carl, a frumentary from Caesar's Legion sent to conclude an alliance with the great count. The NCR and Yesman will ask you to deal with the great count. You can achieve your goal by either killing them or making them break their alliance with the Legion. It is the quest that deals with the alliance between the Great Counts and the Legion. To start it, go talk to Papa Ken, Regis and Carl to learn about this newly found alliance, then exit the Longhouse. Once outside, Regis will come up to you and confess that he thinks it would be better if the tribe allows itself with the NCR instead of the Legion. To do so, you will need to convince four of Papa Ken's advisor. If you are working with the NCR, you can go back to Colonel Moore to inform her of Regis' intention. You will then have either the choice of continuing the quest by seeking out the fourth advisor, or assassinate Papa Ken so that Regis can take his place and ally the tribes with the NCR. If you choose the latter, you will need to kill Papa Ken discreetly before going to Regis and ask him to form this new alliance to complete the quest. To continue with a more diplomatic approach, you will need to convince Jake, Diane, Regis and Melissa that the Legion is up to no good. To gain Jake and Diane's trust, you will need to either pass a speed check of 60 or complete the quest Abadaba Honeymoon for them. To gain Melissa's trust, you will first need to get to her. To do so, you will have to cross the Desclaw infested quarry junction. To do so, the simplest way is to use a stealth boy and get to Melissa in the back of the quarry. Once you are there, talk about the Legion treatment of women to convince her. To gain Regis trust, you will need to give him the slave ledgers that you can find inside Caesar's tent at the fort. If you wish to avoid the journey, you can instead discredit Carl. To do it, first acquire Carl's journal here. Then speak to Papa Ken and tell him about it and how Carl sees the Great Khans as inferior and that they will be assimilated into the Legion. Or talk directly to Carl and make him angry by passing three speed checks with a maximum of 75 needed. 
After all that, Gotok took Bapakan to ask him to break the alliance with the Legion. He will ask you what should his tribe do now. You can pass a speed check of 75 to tell him to flee the Mojave, or perform suicide attacks against the Legion during the second battle of Hooverdam. If you don't have enough in speech, go talk to Julie Farkas at the Old Mormon Fort that will then send you to Ezekiel at the 188 trading post. There, he will give you a history book about Genghis Khan and his empire. Go back to Papa Khan, give him the book, and tell him to either flee the canyon or perform the suicide attack during the battle. After that, go report back to complete the part of the main quest dealing with the Great Count. It's a quest to help Jake and Diane in their drug dealing business. Note that if you've killed Mortal Runner inside Vault 3, the quest will automatically fail. To start it, go talk to her, she will give you three tasks. The first one is to find Ender, one of the dealers that has gone missing. He is located on the road that leads to Cottonwood Cove. Go to him, untie him, then go back to Diane. Your second task is to deliver a package to our host Tetler. He is located inside the main office at the Crimson Caravan Company. Go there, give him the package, then go back to Diane. Your last task will be to deliver another package to Motor Runner. Go to Vault 3, equip the great canned armor that Diane gave you, and tell to the entrance guard that you are here on a delivery run. Go to the Finn's leader and give him the package. Then go back to Diane. Your new objective will now be to teach Jake a new camp's recipes by passing 3 science checks of 50. After that, the quest will be completed. After passing a speed check of 33, when talking to Jerry, he will confess that he is not wishing to become a can and finds far more satisfaction reading poetry. He then asks you to help him to find a place where his passion will be appreciated. Go speak to Julie Farkas at the Old Moon Fort about him and ask her if he can join the followers of the Apocalypse. She will accept. Go back to Jerry to tell him the good news and complete the quest. The ending will vary upon if Apakan and Regis are alive or not, who is the chief between the two of them, if you broke the alliance with Caesar's Legion or not, and who won the second battle of Hooverdam. If both Papakan and Regis are dead, the surviving cats fled to Idaho where they slowly try to rebuild their tribe. If you broke the alliance with Regis as the chief and NCR won, the tribe was left alone for a short time before the NCR Everlasted expansion relocated the cans in an isolated, barren reservation well north of NCR trade routes. If you broke the alliance as the Legion won, because they supported the NCR, Caesar hunted the Great Khans and quickly annihilated them, erasing all trace of their presence. If the alliance is still in place and the Legion won, Caesar integrated the Khans into the Legion, the old and sick were put to death, women enslaved, and the tribe's identity was destroyed. If the alliance is still in place and house won or you chose an independent New Vegas, the Khans lost the little force they had left at Hooverdam, the remaining survivors scattered across the Mojave, joining other tribes and forgot about their heritage. If you broke the alliance, with Papa Khan as the chief, and regardless of who won, during the battle, Papa Khan made the tribe fled to the vast plains of Wyoming. There, and with the help of the followers of the Apocalypse, they rebuilt and carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. On the next video will be a feature about the history of the three families, and then we will talk about the part of the main quests that deals with the Ometas. Thank you for watching and see you later!